Yo, what is going on guys? True Custom Gaming here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to spoof the 4.70 on your 4.46 D-Rex uh, custom firmware. So right now, I'm just going to be showing you guys that I am on 4.46. As you guys can see right there for version 4.46. Okay guys, what you guys want to do, you want to go down to your package manager, uh, install package files, and then go to standard package location. Uh, make sure you connect to USB. I don't have mine in right now, so just connect it. And what should be there is this right here. It should say uh, SEN enabler when you install it. So once you install it, it uh, should change to GT Academy uh, 2013. So just run that. Okay, once that has run, it'll look like this. And uh, just press square and press square again. It'll say, do you want to enable SEN access? Click yes. Now this is the process that takes the longest. This may take around five to 10 minutes about that. So just um, don't shut off your PlayStation. Don't do anything. Just let it run through because if you do something right here, it'll seriously mess it up. So just make sure it runs through. Once it is finished, your PS3 will beep. So just make sure you hear that beep and yeah. Okay guys, there you go. As you might have heard, my PS3 just beeped. But anyways, it'll say PSN slash SEN access enabled successfully. Do you want to reboot? And it'll say warning if you do not reboot, your PS3 system may, will be unstable. So make sure you click yes to that step. Your PS3 will beep yet again, confirming that it will shut off. Okay guys, once your PS3 has fully rebooted, all you want to do now is, um, uh, I'll show you guys that I'm on 4.70. As a, You guys should be on 4.70 just like that. So anyways, once you guys are on 4.70, just uh, connect your Ethernet cable. If it's not connected, I suggest you should un uh, disconnect it before you do the uh, SEN enabler stuff. Just because, you know, it's uh, sometimes it gets a little glitchy. But anyways, connect your Ethernet cable and... <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> and once you guys have done uh, that, just sign in. If you guys get an error that might... Yeah, like this error right here. If you get this error right here, it's okay. Just go down to PS3 Item Manager. That I'll have. I'll have both of these in the description, so just don't worry about that. So just go to PS3 Item Manager. And once PS3 Item Manager has loaded up, press the Start button. Go down to Network Tools and go to Restore uh, Original Console ID. And you have it should be default on console ID set. Go to return. Return again. Whoops. And then you go to uh, the press the PS button and quick game. And then there you guys go. Now you guys should be able to, to uh, sign in. Now you guys can run your uh, stealth stuff such as PSM patch or PS Ninja. It doesn't really matter. You can run that if you want, but I'm not going to do that just for this video. So if you want, just go to sign in, and it should take a little bit, and you should be able to just sign in. As you guys can see, I'm fully signed in. There's my account. So if you guys want to add me, you guys can add me. But anyways, just, uh, yeah, that's how you guys uh, sign in on 4.46 D-Rex uh, Rebug. Thanks a lot, guys. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Peace.